going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. And today, we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Defining Moments Ringside Collectibles Exclusive Mankind. If you are interested in grabbing this figure, it is only available at ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop, they use promo code 4LIFE to save 10% off your order. This is a figure that I feel like has been a long time coming. Personally, I would have liked to have seen it as an Ultimate Edition, uh, without a doubt. Probably Mick Foley's defining moment of his career, right? Who doesn't remember to this day? Like, you see those images of him going through the cell, going off of the cell versus The Undertaker. Uh, so it's crazy that it took this long for this this figure to, figure to come out. I know we've seen different variations of Mankind throughout the Mattel line. Uh, we've gotten those goofy-looking ones with, uh, you know, the rock and sock connection with the jacket. Uh, and he's got the sweatpants on and the sneakers. I know they've done a basic, right? I think they've done a basic of, of this version with him with the brown pants and the, the kind of like white dress shirt and the tie. But here we are. I feel like it's great that they kind of saved it because I'm noticing some details right off the bat that I want to point out um, with this Defining Moments figure. This, if I'm going to bring it real close before we can get to packaging, look at his mouth. I'm going to say that this is the first Mattel figure with some blood on it. it it's very subtle. I'm sure no one mentioned it. They kind of snuck it in there. You will see he does kind of have a little bit of red on his lips and his tongue. Hopefully, maybe, cr fingers crossed. I know it's a Mattel line or, you know, geared towards kids, but hopefully down the road we get something in between, you know, maybe a little more of a bloody action. Not quite blood and guts from AEW Jazzwares, but it is on there on this figure. I didn't know that. I noticed that when I first saw this figure at um, WWE uh, WrestleMania Access, but... That is a little tidbit I want to point out because I'm very excited. Uh, and you can see this is your traditional Defining Moments box. It is obviously scaled down. If you did watch my uh, last review of uh, Cody Rhodes, I did discuss that in full. These boxes are a little smaller, but they do keep the real traditional look of the Defining Moments. I really do like how sleek and compact they are. Uh, definitely will fit better for display if you ask me. But again, you get the traditional Defining Mo Moments logo. A ringside collectibles exclusive sticker here on the front the mankind nameplate at the top you can see as far as accessories you get two heads um a bunch of interchangeable hands on the side you get the image of mankind same image on the other side on the back you have the read up as well as mankind on top of the cell looking down at the undertaker what an iconic moment i still remember watching this live like holy shit what the hell just happened like unbelievable it just really set the bar so high i don't think any hell in a cell has really topped it since in my opinion uh i don't think it ever will but this figure looks great let's crack him out out of the packaging and see what he's all about and if you guys were curious to see the insert on the defining moments mankind packaging you get the smiley face with the mankind mask on the back as well as the signature here on the bottom all right, so here we go. We have Mankind out of the packaging. And as far as his accessories go, you do get a set of interchangeable open hands. You can see the other one is on the figure, as well as a set of mic holding hands. Additionally, you get an interchangeable head. This is the same Mick Foley Mankind head that we've seen going as far back as I want to say was it Elite 17, uh, the first initial release of Mankind. And uh, with the removable mask, you can see it does have some nice detailing to it. Uh, the mask, obviously, is removable, kind of ports over the hair. Uh, not bad, but I feel like this head is a little dated. I kind of would have liked to have seen something a little different. Uh, but you know what? They do include it, at least if you want to have Mankind before all the havoc started in Hell in a Cell 1998 uh, to the actual head scan. That I'm sure a lot of us are going to display uh, on this figure. So let's actually zoom in on that head scan real quick and look how spot on that looks the smile he's got the tooth in his nose just how uh it was after he fell through the cell and again i'm gonna go out there on a limb and say that is blood on a mattel figure that has never been done before so it's nice to see that they kind of snuck that in there and nobody seemed to notice because i didn't when i originally saw it um <clears throat> but it definitely looks really good you can see the nice uh sculpted goatee there just such great likeness to make himself absolutely love how that head sculpt came out and if you do want to compare them here's how they look side by side let's zoom back in for you guys real quick just so you get a better close-up look you can see both head scans right here we'll remove the mask like i said a little bit of a goofy kind of looking uh head scan i'm debating on whether i need two of these uh, one to display with the masked head um and then one with this head but i don't know i haven't quite decided that yet i don't think the mask actually fits 
No, there's no way to do it because it slits on through the back of the hair too. So there's no way to actually get that in there. But looking at the actual hair sculpt, I just noticed this uh, before we get to all the tacks and the goodness on the back. It is actually in kind of like the Cactus Jack kind of bun. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, or did he pin his hair back? I don't know. I don't, honestly just don't remember. But while we're at it, yes, he does have the thumbtacks in his back. Such a hellacious match, obviously. Um, some nice detail in here. You can see the silver tacks on the back, even on the bottom here. It looks really good. Some nice rips in the bottom of the shirt, too. The tie is molded and sculpted to the side, looking like a hot mess. I will say I'm noticing a little gappage on the bicep joint here. I don't know if, if I really care for that. Um, same on the other side. It just looked to be a little tad too big. Uh, and his arms are really jacked. I don't really like that either. I know he's got, like, the sculpt... Uh, with the kind of the rips here, I would have liked to have seen a bit, a little bit of a smaller arm for uh, for Mick. I, he obviously was not the biggest guy, uh, but you can see going down, you will have the brown on his pants. Very simple attire. He does have the black boots with the the silver detail uh, over here. On the, looks really nice. All in all, looks really good. No complaints here at all. And swapping the mast head on the elite body, you can see it does actually look pretty good. Uh, it didn't quite sit super nicely you kind of had to finagle it because the mask if you notice does kind of pour back uh behind the hair and that was kind of getting stuck on the shirt so if you play with it you can definitely get it to sit nicely actually it doesn't look too bad without a doubt i know most of us are going to be using this head scan but definitely an option and again if you want to see what the head scan looks like on the body without the mask we will remove it again not the worst but i do feel like it is a little bit of a dated scan Starting off our Mick Foley comparisons, we have two different ringside collectibles Cactus Jack figures. On the left, we have the ECW uh, ringside Cactus, and on the right, we have the Cactus Jack based off of the Street Fight versus Triple H. And you will see that the ECW version actually is a very similar head sculpt that comes with the Defining Moments Mankind. You can see the similar kind of smile. Obviously, the hair is sculpted differently. He does have the tooth in here, but does have some similarities. Next up, we have the Elite Dude Love here on the left. And on the right, we have the original New Gen Era uh, Mick Foley in the all brown. I feel like this definitely needs an updated look. Uh, hopefully, we can see that down the road. We have a few more Mankind figures. So on the left, I remember grabbing this from my collection so long ago. The Elite 17 Mankind with Sako. Uh, you can see that the head sculpt is exactly the same with what we're getting with the Defining Moments figure here. Uh, additionally, that this was kind of re-released as a repaint in the Rock and Sock 2-pack with the Rock. You can see, obviously, the sweatpants are a little different. Uh, this figure does have the sneaker mold uh, versus the boot mold on the brown pants Mankind here in the center. Uh, additionally, we did see these released in another wave. I believe it was a SummerSlam Elite. So we've gotten this Mankind quite a few times. But for the first time, we're actually getting some bicep cut articulation. You will see on this figure, it did not have it. It was just kind of that little articulation at the elbow. So that is improved for this Defining Moments figure. And I think that is something that does put over the top. And for our last comparison, we have the man who threw his ass off of the cell. We have the Ultimate Edition Undertaker, and I absolutely love the pairing of these two together side by side. Before we wrap up here with some final thoughts, if you guys are enjoying this video review, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells for the newest reviews coming up on my channel. We still have the Defining Moments of Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels to go through, so stay tuned for those coming up real soon. As far as this Mankind figure goes, I absolutely love it. I think the only... A gripe I have is that it's not an Ultimate Edition figure, right? The arms, I will say, are a little too big now that I'm looking at it on camera, but I want to say this is a solid 9 out of 10, if not close to 10 out of 10. I will, the arms, to me, are just the one glaring thing that are sticking out. I don't really like the size of it, especially with a smaller kind of uh, shoulder joint, but other than that, this figure is breathtaking. The head scan is so good. You got the tacks in the back. You got the tooth in his nose. You got the blood on his face. And if you don't like that for whatever reason, you got another head you could go with. So, I mean, definitely a lot of options for just an elite figure. Uh, again, I really wish this was an ultimate edition. I, that, to me, would have set it apart beyond belief. But uh, without a doubt, this is the best Mankind Mick Foley figure that Mattel has ever made. It has such great detail. There was so much love and care that went, went into this figure. Uh, Bill McKenna did a phenomenal job. I highly recommend it. Again, this is only available at ringsidecollectibles.com. It will not be sold at retail. When you shop at ringside, code 
for life will save you 10% off your order. Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.